The Texas Book Festival celebrates authors and their contributions to the culture of literacy, ideas, and imagination. The first festival took place at the Capitol in November 1996. In addition to celebrating books and Texas authors, the Texas Book Festival would promote the joys of reading and serve to benefit the state's public libraries and children in Title I schools. Today, the festival is considered one of the premier literary events in the country. It has hosted more than 2,000 renowned authors from Texas and across the nation, and nearly 450,000 visitors to the state capitol in Austin for a weekend of vibrant literary panels, readings, book signings, live entertainment, and activities for all ages. In late 1995, under the guidance of Laura Bush, a former librarian and a passionate advocate of literacy who was then the First Lady of Texas, a task force was convened to plan a book festival to honor the state's long-standing literary tradition. We're one of the few book festivals in the nation that's also a fundraiser. Uh, because book festivals are expensive to produce, uh, most festivals just uh, try to only raise enough money to be able to produce the festival. But we've been fortunate to have so many great partners uh, from across Texas. Uh, we've been able to give almost two and a half million to Texas public libraries in grants for materials for those libraries. Our work and my work mainly is to ensure that uh, the Texas Book Festival is well known throughout the state of Texas and that we're doing everything we can uh, to cultivate literacy and to connect readers with authors. So when people come to the festival we're celebrating authors and their works and we're uniting um, readers with their authors which you know you really can't do. You can read a book but you can't always ask an author what, where did the idea come from, you know, and uh, what were you thinking when you wrote this? So we really, the work we do really fits true to our mission. Uh, we had that very first festival in November of 1996. It was a huge success. Uh, we had authors from all over the state and we really focused on Texas authors that year and every year. Although we've expanded and we've now asked authors from virtually around the world to, to the festival, but it always uh, keeps its Texas focus, both on Texas authors, Texas literature, and, and then on the whole spirit of, of Texas. The festival takes place every fall, and most of the events occur in the beautiful pink granite Texas State Capitol. For that one weekend, the committee hearing rooms and House and Senate chambers are reserved not for matters of state, but for the celebration of literature. Readings, panel discussions, demonstrations, and other activities spill over as well onto the sprawling green lawn of the Capitol grounds and to nearby museums, clubs, and even churches. I thought, well, this is terrific. You know, this is my moment in the sun. And um, so I, being a highly sophisticated, educated, intellectual kind of person, I, I went to Bartlett's familiar quotations <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> found a quote from Thucydides. Yeah. It's always nice to have a little classical parsley <laughs> to sprinkle on. Yeah. You know that the, uh, the, the news menu is dictated by the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, uh, the LA Times, etc. The fact of the matter is, there's, the news comes at you so often in so many different kinds of ways. There's nobody dictating any national news. Each year, the festival showcases a variety of literary themes and topics. A cooking tent is dedicated to cookbooks, demonstrations, and examinations of food culture. What you're trying to do is you're trying to emulsify this. I'm just going to warm up the caramel, which also adds a great layer of flavor. And uh, simmer them for another half hour or so. It's very easy. You just um, first take some butter. All good things start with butter and some powdered sugar. Then it starts getting interesting. We have some chopped apple. This rivals the rum omelet for entertainment, I think. If you have one of these at home. A children's tent offers activities, music, and presentations of young adult and children's literature. An entertainment tent features live music from some of the state's finest musicians.
connecting writers and readers in such an intimate way, in such a lively and beautiful space, is an important goal of the Texas Book Festival. But what makes the festival unique is that it exists to serve public libraries throughout the state, enabling them to expand their book collections and enhance or establish literary and technology programs. So far, the festival has contributed almost two and a half million dollars to Texas libraries. And through its Reading Rock Stars program, the festival connects notable children's authors and their books with economically disadvantaged students. These authors bring books to life for children who may never have owned a book. Since the Reading Rock Stars program began, the festival has sponsored hundreds of author presentations and donated books to more than 25,000 students throughout the state. The festival is free and open to the public and counts on the generosity of individuals, foundations, and corporations to continue what has become, in a very short time, a truly remarkable literary tradition.